Here we'll show you how to determine the area of a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a four-sided object in which two of the sides are parallel. With this one, the top and the bottom are parallel. On a trapezoid, we call the two parallel lines bases, no matter where they are. It doesn't really matter what we label these as, but we'll call the one on the top B1 and the one on the bottom B2. Remember, in this particular case, B1 is shorter than B2. Now we'll make an exact copy of our trapezoid. We'll move the copy beside the original. We'll add the labels to the bases. Remember, the shorter one is B1 and the longer one is B2. We'll rotate the second copy like this. Looking at the copy on the right, we had turned it upside down, so the short side B1 is now on the bottom and the long side, B2, is now on the top. Now we'll move these two copies together. Now we've made a parallelogram. Notice the total length of the base of this parallelogram is B1 plus B2. The height of this parallelogram is shown by the green arrow, which is at right angles to the base, and measures the distance from the base to the top. The height can be measured anywhere here. We'll set the arrow here for now. We call the height h. Remember the area of a parallelogram is the base times the height, which is the same as saying it's the height times the base. Remember the height is called h, and the base is b1 plus b2. So the area is h times b1 plus b2 in brackets. We'll make the formula more compact by saying that area equals h times b1 plus b2 in brackets like this. The area of this whole parallelogram is area equals h times b1 plus b2. But remember, this parallelogram was made by bringing two identical trapezoids together. If we remove the second trapezoid, the area will be one half of what it was when it was a parallelogram. So the area of our trapezoid is one half times h times b1 plus b2. This can also be written as area equals h times b1 plus b2 all over 2. So the formula for the area of a trapezoid can be written in either of these two ways. They give exactly the same answer. Here's an example. We're asked to find the area of this object. We see that these two sides are parallel, but the other two are not. Since this object has only two parallel sides, it is called a trapezoid. In a trapezoid, the two parallel sides are called bases. It doesn't matter how we label these two bases, so we'll call this one B1, and we'll call this one B2. These two sides are not parallel to each other and not perpendicular to any other side. Therefore, these measurements are not useful to us and they can be discarded. This is a perpendicular line drawn between the two bases, so it's called the height. Even though it's a horizontal line in this case, the height of a trapezoid is always the perpendicular distance between the two parallel bases, regardless of how it's oriented in space. We'll give it the symbol h. Now we have enough information to calculate the area. The formula for the area of a trapezoid is area equals a half times h times b1 plus b2. b1 is 9 centimeters and b2 is 5 centimeters. The height h is 11 centimeters. 9 plus 5 is 14 centimeters. A half times 14 is 7 centimeters. So the area is 11 centimeters times 7 centimeters, which comes out to 77 centimeters squared, or 77 square centimeters.